Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Guys, so I'm back from the gym, day 22. Me and Jack went down there. We were like, fuck it, we're gonna do 10K. Start of this week, did five kilometers non-stop on the treadmill, which for me was a first. Up until that point, I'd only ever done one kilometer without stopping. So I was like, fuck, I've done five kilometers, this is mental. Three days later, I've done 10 kilometers without stopping. Now, to some people, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but to me, a man that has never ran 10 minutes concurrently without stopping in the space of a week psychologically to go from thinking I can only run one kilometer at a time to running 10 kilometers, not only that, my speed only went up, including a 10 and a half mile an hour sprint finish. Fucking insane. Absolutely fucking insane. This week, I have proved to myself I am capable of so much more than I ever imagined. In fact, I'm capable currently of 10 times more than I thought I was at the start of this week when it comes to running, right? And that is fucking enormous. So this is really a hell of an experience. And if you're not doing it already, I really suggest get yourself down the gym, get yourself healthier, get yourself fitter, because psychologically, forget about the body improvements, psychologically, this is one hell of a ride. So guys, there we go. 50 days of of fitness. It was it was crazy. It was completely different to what I imagined. I didn't know if it was possible, you know, because of my degree and stuff, overtraining. Quite recently, a few months back, I trained days in a row, and on day 11, I broke myself. I injured myself, so that was a psychological barrier and hurdle. When we got to day 11, I was like, oh fuck, like this is the most concurrently I've I've trained without injuring myself before. So it really was just an experiment. It was just a learning curve, you know, and it was just to see if it could be done and it can be done and it's instilled such an insanely positive lifestyle change choice that I'm absolutely buzzing to have now, you know, and, and psychologically it's made a massive difference, especially when it comes to the gym itself, you know, because a lot of people, you know, they think, oh, five days a week to train the gym, what a fucking ball like that would be, which is a completely normal thing to think. But from my perspective now of doing seven days a week for 50 days straight, I don't think, oh my God, I've got to go for five days a week now. I think, holy shit, I'm getting two days off a week. That's crazy. So little things like that are massive, massive positives to doing this 50 days. I have to give massive props to Jack who has been pushing me through the days that I didn't want to go, just like I've been pushing him on the days that he didn't want to go. We've certainly worked at this like a team. And if you can go to the gym with someone with a gym partner, then I highly, highly recommend it. I also recommend getting some solid tips and tricks from some great PTs. My good friend Jordan Eek, amazing PT down at Phoenix Gym Norwich, which is an incredible gym in itself. Jordan has been magnificent. I've trained with Jordan for many years 
now and he's a very close friend of mine so we have that chemistry and I absolutely adore training with the guy but he's been absolutely amazing I used to PT alongside him and now because I've been out of the industry for two or three years it's, it's amazing and inspiring in all honesty to see how far he's come as a, as a trainer but yeah so that, that's that's a little tip I've got for you really is to train with someone and also grab yourself a PT to, to train with but it's been it's just been a fucking crazy experience it really has it hasn't been plain sailing it hasn't all been fucking sunshines and rainbows it's it's so it has been tough you know mentally it's been incredibly tough and, and in places been incredibly draining and incredibly tiring obviously and one thing I was really looking forward to after the 50 days was to be able to have those rest days but also like people are like how how on earth can you do it you know how can how can you train every single day 50 days and not fuck your body up well what we did was we trained different areas My chest was smashed to pieces and my triceps were smashed to pieces the next day I'm not gonna go in there and train chest and tries it seems like such an obvious answer but it's the truth and it honestly surprised me how many people kept saying like how can you keep training every single day and not break your body you just train smart and you train different areas if your upper body's fucked go play football for an hour go down a five aside or seven aside you know that's what we were doing and that was the thing like it wasn't all gym work it was exercise concurrently for over an hour that was the aim that was the goal because it's, it's it's 50 days of fitness right it's not 50 days of gym work even though uh, we we put in some double sessions on some days because we got addicted you know we certainly got addicted and i know that me and jack went to the gym more than 50 times in the 50 days because there are a lot of days where we went twice because we thought fuck it you know there was there was even a day there was some footy on and we were sat there and we were like we'd already been to the gym that day and we were just like do you fancy going to the gym yeah fuck it so there we are there's two sessions in one day but obviously that doesn't mean you have the next day off you start to go 50 days concurrently for this challenge if you want to take up the challenge which i do challenge you to do this it is possible it's not ideal it is very strenuous very tiring but i think it is very rewarding at the same time but we're actually doing a 30 day challenge mid-november so you can get involved in that a little bit easier and I have to say 30 days I'll probably say is like the sweet spot because there was certain days throughout the 40s where like the end was in sight but it was just like oh I just need to get over that line now you know and it was starting to like I mean I was just knackered oh, you know day 45 I was just like please I just my body just needs to stop this now but obviously you're in too deep and it's 50 days you've got to get it 50 days done but I don't regret it I do not regret it for an, for a second it was class it was fucking brilliant big side psychological changes in myself the physical changes have been fucking incredible i've still got the muscle memory there from the, from my days as a pt and all the rest of it i've been going to the gym for many years now in most recent years on and off but it was great to get back in there and it was great to see the results come through you know like they did over at phoenix gym norwich i got this body scan machine that costs like 10 grand i went in there dehydrated like you should be for these fat percentage scanners and they, i was shocked to find out i was 27 percent 
body fat. I was like, holy fucking shit. Okay, I've seriously been spending a lot of time editing, being sedentary, not going to the gym, and eating Dorito. So I need to fix this. So all of a sudden, I thought, you know what? This 50 days, I'll tell you what you can do for me. You can get me back into the teens of, bo of body fat percentage. And I'm happy to say I went from 27% body fat down to 18.4% body fat. Fucking buzz. I think I went from like 89 kilos down to 84. And, uh, and yeah, just really happy with the results. Really happy that I dropped that body fat percentage. I'm now in a period where I'm trying to get down to 15%. So I'm trying to drop that additional 3.4% body fat there. And I'm just really enjoying my training now. You know, I'm really fucking enjoying having that rest time to, to for my body to recuperate and be able to go into the sessions fresh and really be able to give it my all and build muscle. You know, that, that that's the biggest thing. I dropped eight kilos in fat mass. This is obviously all according to this scale. Eight kilos in fat mass and then put on four and a half kilos of, of lean lean muscle mass, which is, to be honest, it's above what, what I ever expected out of the 50 days. But obviously when you go in every single day, your body is constantly working, constantly working. So you get some crazy results with a very quick turnover, which which I was absolutely buzzing to see. But yeah, so the psychological changes in me, the physical changes in me, you know, I've got good genetics for triceps, traps and chest. I always have done and they've come up beautifully. You know, I've been smashing my legs, my quads are coming through really nicely. Abs still elude me. They're under there somewhere. Unfortunately, I don't have the genetics of Jack, but let's talk about Jack for a second. Psychologically, his changes have been night and day. Absolutely phenomenal. That man is now more in love with the gym, I think, than I ever have been, which is insane. His approach to food is entirely different. I've never seen a man obsess so much over calories and stuff in the most positive way possible. His attitude towards life and his work, you know, the results of his work and the views and the subs, etc., is all paying dividends which is amazing to see and obviously go over to his video we did a great interview for his 50 days video where we delve into his motivations behind starting I won't talk about it here because I don't want to take anything away from that but I do implore you if for some reason you're watching me and you don't watch Jack go over there check out his 50 days video it's very very fucking good and the interview that we did together is is brilliant it is brilliant and it's shot beautifully so go over there just for the cinematography if anything but yeah obviously Jack's physical changes I mean fucking hell I live with him I don't know if you know that I don't know if you got the memo i live with jack and unfortunately in this household the cheese grater has always eluded us we've never had a cheese grater in this house and i love cheese so that's a fucking shame but obviously fortunately jack's now got a fucking shredded up eight pack so we've got a cheese shredder in the house ball jokes aside like he's done fantastic he's done really fucking well and he's really hit the diet hard he's really hit the training hard i'm incredibly proud of him just to round up quickly like the training style there i mean what i'm doing now now that I'm out of the 50 days, I'm doing push-pull legs, right? That's 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 my training style, and that's what I was doing before the 50 days. But when it comes to the 50 days, it was kind of like, listen, you're putting your body through something it's never experienced before. Your body is constantly in pain. Your body is constantly going through doms. It was just kind of the classic, like, I don't want to call them bro splits, but it's not, there's not really a better way to describe, you know, chest and tries and back and buys and shoulders and abs, all that sort of stuff, and going and playing football or training legs, you know. So, so splitting it up sensibly, you know, allowing rest between days so you're training other things while other things are resting the diet listen right it was as simple as this cut as many carbs out as possible is what we did meat fish veg eat those meat fish veg eat those simple as that cut out all the shit cut out as many carbs as possible we didn't cut out bread entirely we had thins which are amazing. And also get, make sure you, got, you give yourself a treat, you know, allow yourself something to keep you going. Because if you cut out everything completely, unless you're a psychopath, you'll probably fail, unfortunately. So I allowed myself to keep cereal, which I know everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck, you kept eating cereal, blah, blah, blah. But yes, because I wanted to keep my sanity in some way, shape or form. So cereal was the way to do that for me. The motivation was I wanted to get my body back because uh, I was on a downward spiral. I really was when it comes, you know, at the end of the day, I, I'd never really thought I was ever out of the teens in, in body fat percentage, and obviously to go get that scan done, 27%, I was mortified. Obviously, I can only ever compare myself against myself, I only ever compete against myself. Now, obviously, I know there are larger people out there, I understand that, but for me, I was on that way. I was, obviously, I wasn't fat, but I was getting, to, oh, if I hadn't stopped, I would have been eventually. I grabbed the situation by the balls and stopped it, rather than going down. So yeah, I was very 
very unhappy in my body. I know obviously, you know, there's a lot of people with worse off bodies, but at the end of the day, my body, I'm competing against myself. I didn't like where I was going, so I stopped it and went the other fucking way. Will I do it again? I don't know. To be honest, I kind of done it. I don't feel like I really need to. It was, it was like a social experiment to see if it could be done. It can be done, so I don't really need to do it again. But I think you should do it if you haven't already, or join in, like I said, on the 30 days challenge that me and Jack are setting up in mid-November. The benefit to doing the 30 days, or maybe even a 21 days, like a three week thing, is that it does install that habit, installs that, that lifestyle change. And if you do every single day for three weeks or 30 days, like I said earlier, like me doing 50 days, all of a sudden going down to five days a week is not like, oh my God, I've got to train five days a week. It's like, holy shit, I'm getting two days off a week. So it's, it's allowing you to have that mindset. And that's the thing, that's the key, is the mindset. This whole thing has been won or lost in here. Not my body. My body could hack it. My body put up with it. My body survived. This is what got me through. And this is what could have lost me the battle. So it's mentality. It's mindset. It's strength of mind that will get you through these things. It's possible. You can do it. I had so many people. No, you can't do it. That's stupid. You won't do it. You'll fail. You'll break. Well, here I am. I'm in one piece. I'm feeling fucking stronger than ever. I'm feeling better than ever. So fuck them. You know, fuck the doubters. Fuck the haters. To be fair, if I listen to people for the last few years I wouldn't be in this position where I am now full time on YouTube so you know at the end of the day if people are going to doubt you just fucking ignore them and prove them wrong because trust me when you prove doubt is wrong oh is there a sweeter taste I think not listen guys that's it this has been 50 days of fitness go over and enjoy Jack's video as well his video is magnificent yeah that's it from me the links are down below if you want to become a patron support me that way then you absolutely can hit that join button but if not all I ask is you know guys you come back you like you share, you subscribe, sweet one, geese.